All right, so I got another recommendation. Right, right when I'm doing videos, I get a notification. I might as well do it. So the villain wants me to talk about how to not take things personally at the workplace or in general and how to remain calm. So I'm not some expert, to be honest with you, because I have trouble with that. I have trouble remaining calm when I'm dealing with a toxic coworker, you know? Sometimes... I can get violent, you know, and especially when I'm at a manic episode or a depression episode. It's even worse when they try to, like, even make my shit even worse, you know. But when I'm, like, not in that state, like, I could think a little more clearly and I could find ways to help me calm down. And try not to take things more personally. Because sometimes, it, you, I guess the, I guess sometimes, uh... They're not trying to intend to hurt you, I guess, if you think it that mindset. You're just there to work and go home. Like, say, even if they get stressed out at you, they're not intending to hurt you. They're just upset about, like, what mistake you did at the job, you know? But I don't think it's justifiable for what they did, obviously, because I don't like when people do that shit. But sometimes thinking that way can help you not take it so personally, you know? Uh, say even like in general, like if, sometimes, like say some people online, uh, are talking and it's like a heated argument. Like try to not take it too personally because maybe try to understand why they uh have a difference than you and then uh having like an understanding of who you're talking to can calm you down i'll say like having an open mind that's the word say if you have an open mind it doesn't mean you agree with the person like having an open mind can help you like not take things personal and Try to hear them out. Try to understand why they think that way. You know what I mean? So I think having an open mind about things um, helps. But especially when you're passionate about something, you can't really be open. So it's can't be open all the time, right? Um... Yeah, like, certain words, like, people tell you, like, that hurt you, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes you don't want to take it personal, because you want to see someone's intentions on how they use that word, you know what I mean? If they use the word in a way that they hurt you, you're allowed to respond, you know what I mean? You're allowed to say, I don't like how you say that, I don't know why you're talking crap to me like that. You know, but if they're saying that word and they're not tending to hurt you, they're just using it in a different sense, then, yeah, don't take it personal, you know. But it's not, I'm saying, it's not easy, though. And thing is, like, people that say certain words and even if they don't intend to do it, they shouldn't say the word, you know, because it can offend people, you know. Like, for example, like, sometimes I say, uh, this shit's retarded, you know? But I'm not intending to hurt people that have disabilities, you know? That's not my intention. It's just, it's just a word that I use that I don't like, I don't like this thing, you know? And thing is, it, it's, it shouldn't be just a file for, for someone to say that, but... If you try to understand what their intentions are or try to understand why they're using that word, try to not take it so seriously, you know what I mean? Or personally. So, uh, what's another one? This is a good topic, I'll say. Uh, 
especially when you're trying to be patient for something and something is uh arriving late you know like a package for example and they say oh it's it's not arriving today it may be postponed till next week you know like don't get upset too much because it, it, your package is gonna come and don't take it personally either because they might have like a hard time delivering the package something happened S some mistake happened at the warehouse where the package went to the wrong van and uh it was going the wrong route so that was a mistake like that, that example and just remaining calm and we'll just you, you know that package will come so just be calm about it if, if it doesn't come that that week that they're supposed to tell you then you gotta tell them you know what I mean but most of the time they'll fix that uh Especially when people are busting balls. People that are joking around. You know what I mean? There's times I bust balls a good amount. But I don't do it to the point where... Uh, that's all I do in my... How I talk, you know? But when people are roasting each other. People are joking around. And they say something. You don't take it personally. Because you can say something back. Say something goofy to them. Say something stupid, you know? And it could be very good, and they will like that, and it builds camaraderie, you know what I mean? <laughs> kind of like my one video I made, but even busting balls can get too far, and you can just say, I don't like that, you know what I mean? And just remain calm when you say it. I don't like when you say that to me. I don't want you to say that again, you know? Try not to take it too personally, but that's easier said than done. I'm not an expert. I'm still trying to get better at that shit. I still get mad. Now, I'm pretty sensitive myself with some things. So, it's just... It's not easy, you know? Um, sometimes, like, when people just don't like you. Like, for no reason. Like, I wouldn't take that personally either. Because you're gonna... There's always gonna be people not liking you, no matter what. No ma like... They judge you on stupid things, like your hobby. That doesn't hurt them. They judge you for your uh, how you talk. They judge you about your job. They judge they judge you on superficial things, or they just judge you on the most pettiest thing in the world. You know, you're not gonna have everybody like you, and don't take it personally because that happens to everybody. You know what I mean? There's a lot. <laughs> That's that's just how it is. <laughs> Say the more well known you are too, the more haters you're gonna get. And that's the truth, you know. The more money you have, the more uh, popular you are, or all the attention, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh what's another one? This is a good one here. Uh That's the thing, like, how can you calm down when something happens, you know what I mean? Like, ways I used to calm down was, I used to smoke cigarettes a lot, and I would fucking chain smoke like crazy. Especially when I don't like those co-workers I was working with that would talk gossip and try to put me down. I would always try to find a way to go out for a smoke break and try to calm me down. So, that's what I would be doing, or, when I wouldn't smoke, I would just, like, I would just, like, kind of breathe in and breathe out, like, slowly. Because breathing technique actually does work. It does calm me down. <laughs> it does seem corny, you know what I mean? Like, breathing, but it, it actually does work if, if you do it right, you know? Breathing in through your nose and then breathing out. It can calm you down some way. Um, like an anxiety bed, like a, like anxiety medication that 
doesn't make you feel bad with the side effects can help you calm down and and stuff like that that can help you think a little more clearly and uh not take things as personal with certain things you know or like smoking weed some a lot of people like to smoke weed to help with their anxiety and it doesn't bother them with other things so that's a good thing too you know like there's a lot of other things obviously like any cope basically that helps you out it doesn't cause pain too much like that can help you calm down um uh, but when you're not thinking clearly, when you, your your thoughts are racing and you can't find a way to stop that shit, it's it's hard. It it really is, and I have a hard time calming down when my when I have racing thoughts. I couldn't like relax. You know what I mean? People say just calm down, chill out. You know that makes it worse. You know what I mean? That just like gaslighting right there. Now, you gotta give that person space. You gotta give that person some time to calm down and uh, until they can relax and think better. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't take like one, two, three. <laughs> so, uh, especially like online, like like say you're. You're on Reddit and you don't like some comment on there. Just exit out of it, you know? Look at something else. You know what I mean? If it doesn't, if you don't like it. And try not to take it too personal because it's just someone's different view, someone's opinion, right? So, another thing is... Uh, What was that? I've I just lost my train of thought on this one. Uh, I'm trying to think what it is here. And that's the thing, like, uh, these people want to see a reaction from you, these normies. And that's, they want to see you taking it personal. It, it's... It's bullshit, you know what I mean? And they like to press your buttons. And they like to gaslight. They like to be sarcastic. Or they like to blatantly say it in your face. Or, you know. Once you realize, like, that's what they want to do. Is for you to take it personal and uh, react. That's what, that's what they want you to do. And when you have that mindset, you won't... Uh, take it as personal as much, you know? <laughs> like I said my one video I made recently, today, you don't want to bring that shit home when you're, uh, have people, like, meaning being angry and stressed out, st stressing your roommates out because of the job, you know? You don't want to just suppress that. You want to try to relieve that shit, let it go by... Go, hitting a punching bag or something or going for a run or a walk or listen to some good music or whatever it is, right? That's just stuff that's coming out of my head. So, um, but yeah, that shit ain't easy for myself. Like, I had such a hard time with that, with my bipolar and autism. It's just, it was so bad to the point where... Like, I had to go to mental hospitals because of this shit. It was... It's just terrible. Um... It's another one. And the thing is, nobody's perfect with that either. You are going to take something personal in some way. It's just the way how you handle it, I guess, right? Try to find ways to 
handle it better. Like maybe be more assertive, like I said before, and say, I don't like that. I don't want you to say that again, or try to relieve it in a better way. Maybe talk to someone about it, like a good friend or girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever it is, right? And if it gets so bad to the point where uh, it's affecting your mental health, like these people at work or in general, you gotta get away from that, you know, like quit the job or stop hanging out with those people because that's gonna mess you up, you know, it's another way of getting out of it. Yeah, it's a good topic, man. I'm glad that uh, you mentioned it. So, catch you guys with another one.